Hello, I am BRabbit1987 of B Bunny Gaming, and this will be the first episode of a revival series that I started on an older YouTube channel called Beyond Vanilla. In this series, I will be spotlighting mods from various games such as Skyrim, Minecraft, City Skylines, Don't Starve, and more. In today's episode, I will be going over a Skyrim mod called Eternal Darkness by SOT Team and ZB Vertex. This is another one of those immersive mods that may not be for everyone, and certainly not for the faint of heart. Here, let me show you something. Do you see this? How about here? You might be a bit confused on exactly what it is I am showing you. So give me a minute and let me explain. All of these scenes contain dungeons, most empty, filled with creatures, and Draugr. Yet somehow, all of them are lit up. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Even from a lore perspective, which entails Draugr cleaning up and keeping things tidy. That is what this mod sets out to fix. It scans and disables light sources and dungeons all across Skyrim. Just look at this. Eternal Darkness. A fitting name, wouldn't you say? Let's just have a moment here and take a look at a few comparison shots. Absolutely stunning. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to need a torch to traverse in these dungeons. This mod comes with an MCM menu with many configuration changes to fit your playstyle. Even an option to turn off lights when the NPC is near. On top of that, if you think Draugr do light candles and such as part of their cleaning, you can even include that in the scanning process. It gets even better, this mod is compatible with other light mods, in fact, the mod developer even recommends the Enhanced Lights and FX mod. Now there are a few things you should know before running off and grabbing this mod. It takes time, literally. Enabling this mod can take up to 5-10 to 10 minutes according to the mod page and up to 20 minutes if you want lights on near NPCs. I'm assuming that is if you have a somewhat decent computer because it took me a lot longer than that. With lights on near NPCs, it took me well over an hour. Now do keep in mind, this is a one-time thing. Once it's done, you'll never need to do it again. Also, I did run into this issue. Not sure if this is common, but through the four dungeons I searched, that was the only time it occurred. However, this is a mod I would use and may even consider essential for those who like immersion. Overall, I highly suggest this mod, and if you like what you see, please head on over to the Nexus Mods and give it a shot. Maybe even give an endorsement. Thank you for watching this episode of Beyond Vanilla. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button as it will entice me to make videos like this more often. Also, don't forget, you can subscribe to get alerts when I release more videos, and your subscription would be very encouraging and I would be incredibly grateful. Again, thank you for watching, hope to see you on the next episode.
Mission accomplished.